Oh, you're waiting on me? Okay. Uh, do I have to come up there? Well, you know, it was my subject myself to your interrogation, yes. doctor. Terrible interrogation. You like the good doctor. It only hurt for the first few minutes. Yeah. Okay. After that, it's kind of off. Okay. Grab the bottom of your chair and hold tightly. You're in. Hold tightly. Okay. You're in. Okay. This is going to be worth, you know, if this works, you can imagine what this is going to be worth. I don't know what I'll be selling it for. <laughs> Want a copy of this video? Um, okay. So, what are the stages that you have in your mind when you're creating, let's say, a, a video as part of the sales process? Like you've got all these videos up here for, let's say, Info Millionaire, and you've got. Uh, you've got Ask Control 2.0 coming out. Mm -hmm. um, so what, you mean like mechanically the stage? No. Well, first, first let's go through mechanics. Okay. Um, what, let me hear the mechanics. Uh, well, the first thing that happens is I establish a deadline by calling in group and saying, hey, dude, let's shoot on this day. Okay. Which if I don't do that, I'll never make it. Um, because I don't want to do anything. I've got to actually off camera, I have a three-step formula for eternal happiness, which is smoke reefer, surf, and drink beer and eat Mexican food, and the drinking beer and eating Mexican food counts one step. So if I don't call Andrew and have him coming over to like where I can do shit, then I'm gonna go be doing one of three steps. So step one is to establish the deadline. Okay, what's step two? Uh, step two is once, it's either once the deadline is established or potentially right before it's established, I will think about the outcome of the video. Okay, what's the next step? Uh, then I start trying to think of a way to convey it. And a video for me almost always has two parts, sometimes three, and the parts are going to be, um, it's really a this, I'll call it now within the context of our conversation this morning, the pattern interrupt part, which will be that intro, which is Usually, what you guys will see, like the Chris video, I'm kind of walking through this, and then, you know, but like completely unrelated weird shit. It's like, why is this guy doing this? So, I have part one with the pattern interrupts. So I try to figure out a way to frame the video within that pattern interrupt type of thing. Uh, part two is going to be content, and part three is going to be the outcome and the pitching of the outcome, whether it's an opt in or a, a buying of my shit. Okay. Ultimately, it's always just buying my shit. And what comes after you thinking of a way of conveying it? Um, I'll write it down. I'll come up with a loose <coughs> outline, kind of like a little, uh, you know, uh, moleskin thing. That's what I use or loose. And this, that's never. Shit, I wish I had it here. I'll show you. I'll just, I'll either draw little squares, um, which show, like, you know, this is the first part, this is the second part. I make little notes in the squares, or I'll just write it down. Step one, do this. Just this, usually the concept. So it's never like open, uh, you know, walk through the door, say hello, or anything like that. It's just like in house talking about X. Okay. Now you've written it down, what's the next step? Uh, shoot it. So I don't I never over plan it. If I over plan it, I can fuck it up. It sucks. Okay. Now, let me just tell you that as we go through the model, remember if you want the current, mo the current model to really work, you have to step into the model. Some of the pieces may work for you, some of the pieces may not work for you. Right now we're going with the pure current model. Okay. Now, all of this presumes that if we can back up a step before all this, before you get to the deadline, how do you get the idea for the next product? What's going on in your mind? Um, well, it's, it, truthfully, it's almost always reactive. So I will sit around and do nothing for as long as humanly possible, and then I'll pay taxes in my bank account, dangerously <laughs> close to being 
And this is true, if the interest are close to dipping below a million dollars in liquid assets, so when that happens, I'll go back to work. Because that, for me, is one comfort zone. You know, if I can't write a check for a million bucks, I'm freaking out. So I'm like, okay, shit, I gotta get back to work and do something. So it's almost always a reality. It's rarely just a problem. And the uh, best part is at lunch, Frank is saying, you know, I'm a towards kind of guy. I don't like any of this away stuff. <laughs> but I all of the stuff, work. but all of the stuff yeah. that he does that motivates him is away. Right. Okay? True. Away from the deadline, away from the low bank balance. Right. Okay? You know, it's like perception versus whatever. Okay. So yeah, it's reactive, bank balance. Mm -hmm. And then, so how do you just, okay, bank balance is, is low. Well, it's never low. I don't let it well, get you don't let it low. Get low to me. So you see, it's approaching low. It's 1.2. It's exactly where it is right now. It's one Which is why I'm in the middle of, of, ma of ass control, too. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, and um, so how do you decide that of which product? It's like, I've got to sell something. Uh, well, it's got to be good. So there's there's two things. Just uh, I have to have like a, I don't know, I don't know brand line, fuck it up, but I'll just, Go and we'll see where we go. Um, first of all, I have to know it. You know what I mean? Like I can't just make up some shit and sell. I'm not good at that, unfortunately, and I don't do that. So it has to be something I know how to teach and it works. So usually it is I have found a magic bullet and I know what to sell and I know that it works. You know, and the key really is magic bullet. So and for example, if I have something. I know that it's like I figure out a new way to work like hell and analyze PPC and make that work and grind it out and grind it out. That might make a lot of money, so there's no matching bullet there. So it's not going to be selected. You know, but if I find something like mass control, where it's like, okay, there's a certain little formula that I can follow here, and I've done it four times in a row, and it's made all this money, and people want to make lots of money, and they don't want to be obnoxious salespeople, and they have low self esteem and their ability to sell, or buy this. Now I know I've got a matching bullet. And I know I'm not. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Actually, if you're paying attention and you're thinking in terms of the map that we're talking about, are you beginning to hear the pieces that are going to drop into place? Okay? The things that he's giving, Frank is not only talking about that, but he's also supplying definitions, things that he needs in advance. Okay? Um, let's test it. Frank, what are the chances are of you coming out with an NLP product, but that would necessitate you, I shouldn't do this, I'm, that, but would necessitate you going through 20 books and sitting, <laughs> with, and and sitting with Wyatt Woodsmall for three weeks in a row, one-on-one. -on -one, while he deal with Wyatt with the books. And he talked really low, and in that tonality, <laughs> so, <laughs> and no surfing, you had to see him in Virginia. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So, all of these things are key, and it didn't matter how much that would make. It's just not going to happen, okay? Um, Tony Robbins would like to take you on tour. You're not going to, first of all, you've got to change the way you dress to be in Tony's. No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we didn't have to, we didn't have to go in. lost you on tour. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, in other words, no matter how successful it would be, there are these core values that you can't even get within 20 miles of getting him to change those core values. It's just not going to happen. Okay? Um, I think we've got enough to like really get into the uh, model and set this out. Um, can we put that? that do Break it. I know. I don't know how to. What you after it new? The um, PowerPoint. Is it still? I just want you to notice it says if you do not authorize this computer, you will not be able to play 33 songs, including, and you can't see it now, click that, including. Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama. For the love of God, stop everything. <laughs> 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 Here it is. <coughs> it is your primary director. 
Yeah, the ability to play. Okay. Just leave that up there so we can see it while we go to work. Now, what Frank has done, so graciously done, is he has given me the steps. Okay? And let's say that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. Okay, so that's what I'm thinking now, that there are seven steps to the current model. There could be fewer. Let's see how it comes in. Up three steps to the current model. Oh, I've got that in there. Okay. Smoke, reefer, surf, drink beer, and eat Mexican food, which can as well. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Brought to you by Mexican food. Mexican food. Which beer? Or but that all in the can. Oh, the can. Yeah, this is more. It's kind of like Mexican beer in the can is a little more shit. <laughs> 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 all right, I would have figured you for a bottle of this. Okay. I would not tell Paul that Sierra Pale Ale is not high on that. I'm Mexican. We drink the beer. <laughs> so let's go thinking of or create creating a product. Now this is weird, but it's current. His enabling cause effect to um, get this. Um, going. What's what propels the whole thing? Your bank account. Hmm? Your money. Money. Okay. So his criteria is um, is what his criteria is not the bank account. No, the maintaining of his lifestyle. Okay. So the criteria is maintain the three-step lifestyle. That we're joking about. Accidentally never reached, you know, to me, I've never been able to just smoke reef or surf. But, but this is the happy ending. But this is this is the goal. Okay. Once the kids are Yeah. Maybe theoretically, yeah. And then it won't be fun. Out of shape, I don't feel so. Okay. So um, we're actually here in the criteria is um, Actually, the criteria is deciding to create a product. Okay? What enables him to create the product? Bank balance. We'll call it, in his mind, low bank balance. Why, why is that an enabler rather than a motivator? Because that's, that's his driver. That's, that's his driving thing. That starts the whole thing. Okay? And what is, um, what is this going to, what's his motivating cause effect? Is, no, hold on. His motivating cause effect is live the lifestyle. So I guess you could replace the words, because I see some confused looks like that. You could replace the Replace the words enabling cause and effect with like motivation for doing this. Motivation for doing this. And the phrase motivating cause and effect with it's reason, ultimate reason why. Ultimate reason for doing, doing this shit. Yeah. Okay. Now in the middle is what's important to you about, pro and, and then in the middle we would do deciding to create a product. Okay. And in creating the product, we have. Um, um, the definition for him of creating the product is um, 
is um, number one is magic bullet. And knowing it will sell. And not much work. Okay. No, not much work in those not because I actually work my head over producing the product. How do you know it will sell? With the magic bullet it will sell. So the the knowing it will sell is what I meant to convey. So I know what I'm talking about. So no, for example, okay. I could take so I know it. like a, an instant list building course or something would be a magic bullet, right? Because everybody wants a list. If I could say, here's how to get a list without doing any work, I could sell the shit out of that. Unfortunately, I don't know how many times to say, offer free fries in exchange for the name and email address to merit a $2,000. I could say it like in German or something, you know, but that's it. So are, 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 the, are you hearing here the seeds of mass control three coming? <laughs> Well, I don't mean really, but I don't, I don't, I don't have it. I don't have the goods, so I can't deliver it. All I can say is, well, the way I fill massive lists is I've given shit away in exchange for the email address. Thank you, goodbye. You know, when people want, like, well, tell us more than for 12 hours. So, I don't have it. So there's got to be, uh, I refuse to pull it out of my hands. There's got to be like, stuff, real stuff. Okay. And it's got to be, got to be real stuff. Yeah, i got to be able to back it up. You know, so I'm not just going to oh, people want to learn about social media, I'm going to come out with a social media course. I don't know anything about fucking social media. If I already still sell it, because I've got the, the branding to be able to do it, but I won't, because I can't. Does that make sense? Yeah, you have to be personally connected to the experience of what your product is. Yeah. So if I bought it from myself, I would be stuck instead of like, uh, thousand dollars for me to say, give free things away in exchange. And what do you need to do product? He has a question. Hold on, just one second. I'm thinking, but go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, so the, the necessity to be connected to the ability to make these products is, uh, is part of the issues or part of the criteria? That is, um, Part of his de that's part of his definition. Okay. And ultimately, he's going to be able, once he has this, what's he going to be able to do? Okay. Is set a demo. So I already have two belief templates. The first, we call this the belief template. Number one is the low uh, bank balance triggers him to create a product so that he can continue, continue to live the three-step lifestyle. And the second one is this need to, the the, okay, all right, wake up, need to make money, choose the product, magic bullet, simple solution. If I've got it, then I'm ready to set a deadline. Okay, I'm going to clean these up a little bit. The next step is outlining the video. Okay. So we're going to call this, okay, so what's important to you when you're outlining a video? Well, what do you, what do you mean? The, the, I guess achieving the outcome. Okay, and your outcome is? It's the one or two, maybe three, potential outcomes. One is to get the outcome, two is to make the sale depending on the type of video you are using. And three is to strengthen the bond and the brand. Okay, where do you think, his goals are get opt-in, make the sale. What do you think, where do you think get, uh, strengthen the bond and the brand go? It's important, very, very important. Okay, well, we're in outlining a video. So in the center box, we would put outlining the video, and it's a motivating concept. Which is higher, get opt-in, make sale, which he's been saying, you know, every time is his ultimate goal. Hmm? Okay, so that's the ultimate goal. So um, build the brand is where? It's part of his definition. 
what's the criteria? Hold on, is where how the, the process is outlining a video. Okay? Um, so what have you written in the middle box? Right now I have outlining a video. We're going to come back to that. Um, by the way, what's the evidence that it's accomplishing your goal and building the brand? Remember, this is before you've tested. Have you ever had one of these bomb? The closest I've ever had to a bomb was a uh, spinach. <laughs> yeah. And the reason I say it was a bomb is because I only got like 15 or 20% off the bomb. But it was one of the most beloved videos I made for the video. And the launch was successful, but still, I measured it. And what's your and what's your usual optic? I don't know. It's just gotten be better than fifteen percent. I think I've had like some of the highest. That's fuzzy now. <laughs> Maybe in the thirties, some of the highest the thirties. Depending on the track is Okay. Um so now we're coming back to the um what Frank asked, I had in there outlining a video. And so what, he asked what's going in the middle box. So now what his criteria is, is getting people's attention. Okay? Get people's attention. The, the goal of getting people's attention which would also meaning like getting them involved in what's going on, okay? Getting them hooked. And the goal is to get an opt-in or to make the sale. What enables you to get people's attention? You used the term before. You call it a pattern. You use called the pattern. Oh, pattern interrupt. Okay. Yeah. So I would say it's a video. Or are we? Still. No, we're, we're, we're okay. behind the scenes of the movie. Behind the enabling. scenes and enabling cause and effect. What, what enables you to get their attention in terms of the video? Uh, it's definitely the background. Yeah. Which is that first segment of beer shit. Beer, spadanga, spoof, in the bus, in the car. So the it's, bounce, it's do something unusual. Not even necessarily clinically or not clinically unusual, but you know, sometimes you think you do something unusual, you walk around with a banana on your head. So it doesn't mean like that specifically. It's just unexpected or beyond the norm. Okay, so that's why all the Frank stuff is like, okay, we'll talk about two people who are successful online. Okay, Frank and Mike Fulsane. Okay. Do you ever see Mike Phil Sane do a current type video? attention are you doing for to getting their attention? No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you get the attention one time. Okay. Now you get the attention and then let's say it's what a three step process, a four step process? It's typically three. It's good attention, provide content, useful but incomplete typically. And three step. So it's one is get attention. Mm -hmm. Number two is provide content. 
or proof. And then message, you know what I mean? This gimmick message called like this. And then plus. plus. Okay. And works. You don't have to complicate much more than that. Okay. Um, um, okay. We're now our we've now moved to our criteria is getting people's attention. We're now moving into the next thing. So it's getting people's attention. What's important to you when you're getting people's attention? I want to throw them off balance to get under the radar. So that's his definition. Throw them off balance. Yeah, I know that coming into the video, they're going to have their walls up, the defensive walls up, yeah. you know, especially if they're sent from other people's traffic. So I would knock those out of the way immediately and disguise my evil intent. Even if it's obvious, still get it. Okay. okay. And what's your um, evidence that this is going to get their attention? I just think it's going to get their attention. Okay. Because it's worked so much in the past. Okay, so how'd you come up with Spadanka? Well, it's starting to be a following the original three-step formula. First, Spadanko was the part of the why did Mark serve It took like a, forever to come up with the K, something that the, the K could stand for in dicks. So Spadanko was born like months and months prior to the video. I was like, what can the K be? Knowledge, yes. Okay. So, and what about, what was the, the latest one with the uh, cribs? Mm -hmm. How'd you come up with that? We came up with that one uh, a while back, didn't we? So, like, we'll come up with yeah. an idea and then figure out, like, well, we gotta do that. And then, so how can I fit this in the context of So, so well, you're generating these ideas yeah. and then going, well, I'm gonna save this for a rainy day. Like or the, next for, time, the next time I have to do a launch, yeah. this would be cool. Yeah. Like, don't be surprised if you find one where, uh, where Mofo is uh, a, a, at first a nemesis and then soon to be a partner, and he's a member of an association called the Anti Salesman Society, called the ASS. And what's going to happen <laughs> is the Department of Consumer Knowledge Services is going to penetrate the ASS, <laughs> <laughs> come together, and uh, you know, put an end to the shenanigans that are going on. Do we have rainbows in that video? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we think about this kind of shit all the time, you know, so they'll go, like, he actually shaved in his mustache and the handlebars, and then they never got around to film. But it's, you know, how great that'd be like, oh, my name was Roger Dickenstein with the ASS, and be like, anti so and then I'll be like, they're doing horrible, you know, traffic you to curb the ASS, and he's talking to the ATF, and he's like, you know what I mean? You know, you get to the bottom of what's going on, I'm going to sneak in the back door right now. <laughs> so, uh, we'll make it. <laughs> so, um, would, would it be fair to say that when you're coming up with an idea to get people's attention, it's something that would get your <coughs> attention? Absolutely. Okay. So it has to, what enables it, it has to get his attention. And what do you think Frank's attention is focused on? <laughs> okay, let's move a little bit further. But the bottom line is, is he's got this thing of, well, this would get my attention. Okay, 
This would stop traffic. I recently heard someone give a definition of getting attention that was brilliant. Is imagine people in a mall and they're walking along, they're all in their mall trance. What would get them to absolutely stop dead from what they were doing and go, I've got to do that right now? Okay, you have two seconds. For them to respond or they walk on in trance, you have to interrupt their trance. That's what, what Frank is doing is major interrupt. It would amuse me. Okay? So have you ever done one of these launches that, you know, now we're down in the current formula, not you doing it for someone else, but in the current formula, that wasn't Humorous. Uh, yeah, yeah. My first, uh, and not my release of the so The first video that was for Mass Control wasn't fun. Yeah, it was just like straightforward. It, here's, it was shock and awe. It was pure shock and awe. So, so, but, but again, so it wasn't amusing, but necessarily, but it was getting attention. Shock. Right. Yeah, I didn't discover that, that I could get away with funny shit until in the middle of the Mass Control launch. I didn't make it and uh, people loved it, and it was like a turning point. Uh, the launch was already working really well, but once I didn't make a news video, it was a funny shit. So I'm like, fuck, man, I should do this all the time. Okay, so basically experience refined it, so getting people's attention means, in a funny way, totally interrupt people's patterns and make them look about it. And I'm thinking, ultimately, when you get people's attention, your outcome is not just to get the opt-in, but you also want people talking about it. Not necessarily talking about it, looking forward to it and identifying. So I want the guy to, to watch the video and be like, man, that's awesome. You know, I wish I was doing that. Not even if they consciously say it, but if they think it, because that just makes them gravitate towards me more and more. And stuff. You know? So if they talk about it, that's great. But more than anything, I want them to, I want them to be like, this is cool. This is Kind of like when you see a movie, uh, for me it was like uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I remember seeing that movie and thinking that, uh, what's his name, it was fucking awesome. And I was just like, man, I would love to live up like that guy. That's pretty cool. Spicoli. Cool. 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 Yeah, you know, so I want, I want to have that. And also, and I'm walking through this with Chris, you know, it's, uh, a lot of that stuff is used to soften the blow of making claim of Bruce's film. Say more. Um, I'll show you again in the Cribs video, but in the, in the Cribs video, the point, the ultimate point of the video was to say, look, I'm a bad motherfucker, I make a shitload of money, and you need to do what I say. But just like Carl mentioned earlier, and like what people echo here, you come right out and say it, you can not be trusted. Because, you know, you show your yachts or your fucking car, so I did that in a semi-parody, somewhat self-appreciating, humorous way, but still made the point. So that was very, very the blow. So in that way, I ease that under the radar because he can't watch that video and say, oh, well, this clearly didn't work for this guy, you know, because I'm living in this giant house, it's like bullshit in a driveway. You know, we're talking about all this money, but I'm doing it again in the super mellow, mm -hmm. low key, someone's up to appreciate the fun. Okay. Um, What's important to you when you are shooting the video? When I'm shooting it, just that it's good, and it's not can, so it needs to always appear real, which it always is real. Like we don't have scripts or anything, so I'll have an outline, and I'll be like, hang on. Actually, we, we rarely have to do more than one take, with the exception of the last one we shot. It was off my game the first time ever. But, yeah. um, but usually it's just good. And what enables you to shoot a video that's good, that it's not canned, and that it's authentic? Um, that I'm prepared in advance. If I, if I have my little outline and I'm comfortable with what I'm going to say, more, it's, it's the challenging part for me was the, the content message part, getting that right. The funny Spinego stuff is, you know, wake up at 4 in the morning and be like, go, all right, and we'll do something. But it's getting that message right is the hardest part. So if I have that, I've got it all worked out on the end of the season. 
if I don't have it, I'm in trouble. And what does shooting that good video enable you to do? Make all the changes. And avoid writing sales calls, which is a pain in the head. <laughs> <laughs> which interferes with the three step format of that. So notice there's no step four for writing sales calls. How many people think that the part about avoiding a sales letter is just accidental that he tossed that out? Okay, how many people think that that's really part of the model? Okay, Frank doesn't like writing sales letters. He's good at it. He can write with the best of them. Okay, God knows how much money he's made in, in writing sales letters, but video is fun, it goes faster, and he can shoot video in a couple of hours and have a good time and not have to edit or anything. Well, Andrew edits. Right. So, but you're happy as planned because you get to surf. Yeah. Well, that's all part of the process. Um, when you are going through, okay, when you see that bank balance, what's, what kind of emotions are going on when you see that bank balance at 1.2 and you know that there's a whole bunch of bills to pay and tax season is coming? And well, it's already over, that's why it's 1.2. Hmm? Okay. Taxes already came. Okay. Fuck up my rotation. That was a lot higher, and now it's down to one point two. The bank balance is all about avoidance. Uh, and there, there are two things I absolutely hate to do more than anything in the fucking world, and that's show up and do something. You know, I <laughs> You know, my, my, my big driver is don't fuck with me. That's like the whole thing. I should have a flag. Do not <laughs> fuck with me. Not in terms of like antagonizing me in some kind of confrontation thing, but don't fuck with me. You know, I'm the damn phone today. Hey, can you cook it up? I'm fucking me. And if I can get rid of those things, everything's cool. But the minute that things get even close to where I might have to do something, it, it fucks up conversation really fast. You know, so it's never about the, the I mean, obviously, like, you know, how I many million bucks the bank's a lot of money. But it seems like, to me, it's like, okay, well, if I don't do something two years from now, I might have to do something. So I better do something now. So I have to. So it's this major pre prevention of the encroaching need to show up and do anything. If that makes sense. Yeah. And oh, that's yeah. the biggest thing for me is the personal freedom. Major, major problem. That's why I moved out here to yeah, California. So I could not be bothered. Go back to ancient history. The feds have come in and decided that something you didn't have a clue at of was violating 30,000 federal laws and overnight you were a criminal and they went after you and seized bank accounts and stuff like that. You were a bad person. I still am. Okay. Well, we don't talk about that. Oh. I'm proud. Okay. We have our rights. Um, and then you talk about like reading sales letter stuff and basically saying to you, we're going to be all right because I can do this. Right. What was your emotional state at the time? I was good. I was actually in a state of positive. But anytime I read, uh, no, I'm talking about before the, before you opened up the call and thing. What was like your state like when you got hit with all this stuff? Um, I was very very concerned. Yeah, I was concerned is a freaked out. Yeah, yeah, I was totally freaked out. Yeah. Real scared. Okay. Do you ever think about that again? All the time. Absolutely. Even though, like I turn money down constantly. You know. um, Frank, yeah. want to go into a supplement business? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you think that that's a good signal emotion for him? It's like we talked about reference experiences. Okay, I put it to you that if Frank said, "Hey, Orlan, I don't like having that experience in my memory. Take that reference experience away." Okay, and I made it like that was really like fun and games. There, it was just like a, a chess match you would see Frank's productivity go way down without that driving emotion in the background that 
you never know. I didn't know last time, but they could just decide that you know mass control is with bad. Bad. With that intensive of a reference point, I mean, is that even change? I can't imagine you can change that. Oh, you could change really bad. Um, reference points, but here I'm pointing out, remember what I talked about this morning about respect the structure? Okay, you're just like, well, you know what, I don't think that people should have bad memory if I'm going to change it. It's that memory that's driving the whole bus here. It's that emotion, and he's going, I am never going to be in that state of losing stuff again. But it wasn't the, the loss of the stuff, it was the fear that I would have to, that I would have to show up and do something. You know, so it's like whatever. I mean, and, and it was it was a horrible experience, but it was only a horrible experience for like a week because I had to stay out of the closet. It didn't allow us. You know, it's like, shit, I was already making money again, like within a week, so it was fine. But it's the the underlying thing is to have to show up, to have to do something, to have to answer to somebody. Okay. You know, money. You know what? Now, are you hearing the same thing of hearing again and again and again? It's just. You know, it's totally lifestyle, okay? Frank does not get that there are some people who like going to a nine to five job, working, doing the same thing, day in, day out, you know. Um, there's, that's probably his definition of hell, you know, like, after you die, you have to work in a bank from nine to five every day. <laughs> okay, so this is what's driving the the whole bus. Um, when you're, um, are there any? In your, when you're going through this process, are there any like external behaviors, stuff that you're doing that's unusual? Like when you're in launch mode, like what are you? Like, does your style ever change? Not so. I work, you know, but not really. Uh, like having special clothes or special diet. You know, I think about care of though. I don't party much anymore because now we like so I'm <laughs> But you know, like I don't, I don't do any party or anything. So here we have a, another important piece of Frank's not entirely anti-work. If a little bit of work will buy him a lot of freedom, and he knows it, okay? If, by the way, do you have a goal for mass control too? Do you set goals, or are you just like, whatever happens, happens? No, it's funny, I'm, I'm making mass control two for two reasons. One is to get the bank balance up, so I really like Big believer of liquid assets. You know, we should have anything else. How much could you write a check? You know what I mean? So I'm a big believer in that. And the second, I've got three properties right now that I'm paying for my office, my house, and the house that I'm leaving. And the housing market's in the toilet. Uh, so it's possible that I won't sell my house. So if I don't, I'm going to spend like another half a million dollars to make my house bigger and then move back in. So I want to pay for the moving, the making of the house bigger. So I figure I'll need. About a half a million dollars for the renovation of the house. Not renovation, so I don't have work because everything here, I think they make the nails out of gold or something. <laughs> you know, um, so I gotta make a million dollars, but I figure at minimum, to me, a million bucks. So I can give half the money to Whitey, and then I have my half a million left over to pay here in my contract. Whitey is the IRS? Yeah, this, they're all the same to me. I can't tell these people. <laughs> they all look alike. They all look alike. <laughs> um, so, how come your goal isn't ten million dollars? Uh, I just don't want to fuck with it that much. Really? Mm -hmm. You know, okay. I mean, I can probably do something and make ten million dollars to do it. I have to really do a lot of shit. And then uh, I just don't want to do it. Okay. okay. Are these important sets to the model? I don't want to make $10 million because I probably have to work. 
Well, I would love, would love to make 10 million dollars. If I could press the 10 million dollar button, I'd press it, you know. But I don't want to go, I don't want to go crazy. Then we can do extremes and work all the time. I'm already working on my phone, but I'd like to. Okay, now at this point, at this, do you, who does all of your affiliate stuff? Me. You do it all. So you'll pick up the phone and you'll call Phil Sang and say, hey, Mike, we're launching Mass Control 2. Yeah. And you do that. And, and I'm, I'm weird with Phil. I kind of want to do it. You know, because they're idiots, a lot of them, I think. And they can say stupid shit and be like, yeah, this will get <coughs> rich. And then next thing you know, the liability's on me. Going back to that fear of the Fed, I think. You know, and what we just have it. Some total douchebag, like, sent us. 1,200 clicks um, and got 600 leads and didn't make that many sales and didn't me there, mainly because he, got, he generated leads like a month ago and then you know all the other affiliates mailed during launch day and poached the cookies, right? And we had to spend like an hour pacifying this dickhead over why he didn't make any sales. So I don't want to deal with GP, general public type affiliates like that. So I just would prefer to deal with him. So it's pretty much a closed affiliate for Absolutely. And I like to keep that position. You know, it's a big takeaway. A lot of my stuff is always a big takeaway. Can you get on the dude's list? You know, which makes you want to get on the list. Right. And for years, you, you weren't even collecting names. Okay. Um, what's important to you about personally picking up the phone and calling someone and not, let's say, having Gerald or someone else make those calls? Um, because business to me is done on a bro level. That's a real big rule for me personally. Is I, at the end of the day, I don't really care as much about money as I do about just like helping out my friends, be cool. And, you know, it's like, man, I'm sure, I'm fucking man. I hope yeah. Which is why I have business dealings with people that are financially lucrative. Where I just want to strangle the person that's fucking bothering me, and you know, constantly uh, nibbling me, trying to get more stuff out of me. Like, I don't care how money this is. You son of a god. You know, go on. So it's very insulting. Do you actually say that to them, or do you just like totally distance yourself? I have a completely methodical way to handle people. Like that. Now, which is this? Is it going to serve people to go there or to the money portion? Hmm? Sure. Okay, so it's like basically, okay, no, he doesn't want to <laughs> reveal the. Well, no, it's, it's, it's just not important. It's not important. Yeah. It's, it's really not. It's not an integral thing to the model. It's just that you're talking about. Frank believes in relationship building, he's loyal, he reciprocates, and, and so forth. He mails for people without affiliate links if he believes in it strongly enough because you guys are my friends, it's cool. These guys are his buddies. That's always also precipitated by a bunch of mentalities. I don't give a fuck, you know? Always make more. We never make that shit. Let's so why I don't have someone call them is because I've had people Mendoza and have their affiliate managers call me, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? You know, you can't pick up the phone and call me. It's okay, fuck you, I'm not mailing for you. You know, and I, I just won't. Does it piss me off? Yeah, don't, don't treat your friend like uh, a yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay, so one of the big things is you also have this abundance mentality. Yeah. And that is. And you don't see that, like, you know. Resells Traffic Secrets 2. They're going to be, or Traffic Secrets 3 comes out next month. It's going to be, it's going to cause a, a loss in sales for Mass Control 2. Because he's going to get more customers, and then he will, you know, assuming he is like coherent and reachable, and I don't know how he fits. Uh, <laughs> or he'll be in his underground bunker killing spiders or something. You know what I mean? And he says, I'm kidding, sort of. <laughs> yeah, but it's, I mean, the more of my friends, I want all my friends have like billions of customers because shit, they can mail them shit. Okay. So, um, So for someone who is like motivated really strongly by a way, his propulsion system is a way. Okay? That's what gets Frank moving. But Frank doesn't sell a way. I think you should define what a way is. Okay. 
towards is something that you want. Okay, I want the three-piece lifestyle. Okay, I want Reaper. Um, you should really not smoke. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, it is. What? Medical. I've got all that. Okay. Um, Reefer, what's the other one? There's Mexican. 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 Okay, so we have those three. Okay, but it's really sequential. Those are, those are, those are all in that his towards. <laughs> his aways are things he wants to avoid. Work. Okay. Frank would love this modeling to go on all afternoon. <laughs> right? Because he had the morning, and now he has like part of the afternoon. He's like, wow, this Kilstein dude is good. We should bring him in like next time. Whatever. I'm just, I'm just, do you really have to go up to Evan Pagan? Can you teach more NLP shit tomorrow? Um, and, and that's authentically Frank. Okay? So he's towards for um, the lifestyle that he wants, but it's also at the same time a really strong away. But when he's selling something, okay, is there any away stuff in your video? No, I don't like away. Okay. So he will never use away in his videos. I don't know, never. I haven't. Okay. The only away that we talked about before was the away from being alone. Right. In the mm -hmm. annihilation method. Yeah. But that was an atypical thing. I can't think of another example. The Us versus Them video uh, for the last mass control launch could have been positioned as a way uh, by moving away from them, becoming one of us by you know, mass control. So maybe well, that was 50 50. Yeah, it could have been more just towards. Right. Yeah. Okay. But he's not going and saying, okay, this is what you totally want to avoid. If you don't buy my product, you're going, it's not that you're going to, you know, have to go to work and you're going to have to struggle and you're going to have to care what, um, you know, what happens out in the quote, real world. It's all towards the current lifestyle. Okay, now there's a question. Yeah. Can I, I want to give you an interpretation just based on what you read, Frank, which is all of that funny stuff from Frank's personality or branding is sort of the, the abundance mindset manifested in, in his message. And the guy who's working nine to five that Frank can't understand, the corporate culture drills scarcity, 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 scarcity. So you're constantly competing with other people, you're competing with resources, this, that, and the other thing. What happens is when somebody of that mindset sees one of Frank's videos, Frank's video, the <coughs> interrupt or whatever you want to call it, flips him from scarcity to abundance. And that's the to work. They go, I don't want to be like I am. I want to be like that. And that's kind of exactly what I saw in there. Okay. So that is the Yeah. Again, like why they used it to the beach, you know, and like I play up the whole sort of thing a lot. Like more than what's real in the videos, you know. That's why. Okay. So let's take a couple of pieces from the model here. Okay. Little pieces that are integral to the current model. Think about your websites. 